Stephanie's Time to Shine is coming up tonight. For more perspective on what his message may be, we have our Charles Benson live in Tampa with more on the culmination of a big week for the GOP. Good morning to you, Charles. Good morning, ladies. Let me tell you where I'm at right now. We're at the uh, Wisconsin delegation breakfast. This is where they meet every morning, and they'll hear from some speakers. Today, we know we're going to hear from former Secretary of State Condi Rice, but there's a little bit of a hint hit. We may, may see Congressman Paul Ryan, the VP candidate, who was the big star last night. The star tonight is supposed to be Mitt Romney, and uh, you're going to see a couple things tonight if you watch the speech. First of all, they've rebuilt the entire stage, pretty much the entire stage, uh, for Mitt Mitt Romney to make it a little bit more intimate. Everybody talks about, at least the poll suggests, that Mitt Romney is maybe needs to be more humanized. And of course, that's what they're going to try to accomplish in the speech tonight. They broke down the old stage at midnight, and for the last next 12 hours, they are re rebuilding this stage. So Mitt Romney is going to go out there and try to talk to the American people and let them know his vision for the next four years. Ladies? Charles, curious because we're watching. Um Paul Ryan's speech from here. You were actually in the room. What was the what was the mood like? Was it as electric as perhaps the television audience uh, saw? Well, that's what I'm interested in because I did get to see it from the convention floor. And how did it look from the TV? How did people see it from that perspective? Obviously, this was a great campaign speech, at least for Wisconsin Republicans and the Republican Party. The question is, how much will it connect with those voters who may not be so sure of the Romney Ryan ticket? Those folks who maybe voted for President Obama four years ago and are undecided this time around. For African Americans who are not normally with the Republican Party, was he able to reach? out to them. So how did he, Paul Ryan, come across to those who maybe are not in the party or undecided? That's when you're going to find out if they get a true bump coming out of this convention. Of course, any party looks for that bump coming out of, of, out of the convention. Melissa and Susan? All right, Charles, thank you so much. We appreciate your live report early this morning. And Charles will be in Charlotte next week for live reports from the Democratic National Convention. We have more news now.